it. So there's your chick. She looked at you, dude. Yeah, see, we got it's all, all kinds of women. They see me driving by with the Cummins and my watch right here. One hand right here, my other hand right here. Hell yeah. And they think I'm hot as shit. They don't even look at me, they look at my car. Good afternoon, everybody. If you've seen my previous videos, Brandon was in the video, he's buying a Cummins. He's probably gonna live in the Cummins because he lost his house. If you can see here, it's completely fallen down, but you can actually still get inside. He went inside to like get to make some food or something, but I'm gonna see if I can actually get into this place. Ah, this is dangerous as fuck. So the electricity still works apparently, and they got cable TV in here. Okay. This is Miller Cummins reporting to you live in the middle of a fallen house. If you can look, uh, there's a tree limb there, but if you look down there, you can see there's a window in the, literally under the, the creek right now. And yeah, I'm literally in the middle of the creek if you look right there. He's gonna be driving home the Cummins today. Let's get to it. But this is probably gonna be an off-road beat or beat. And then once he gets the Dodge, well, he's gonna go off-road in that too. <laughs> Power stroke all the way, yo. Picking up the mechanic right now, Ginger Mechanic. He knows everything that you could possibly need to know about the Cummins yeah, you can and just its engine. That over. Some fucking Cummins mechanical behind. features. Get out of here. So. so what's up? Why the dude, I fucking get in here? Thanks, just... Thank you guys for coming along with us because we're really gonna need this help for today. I mean, thank you guys for coming with us. Thank you, thank all of you. The, the, who's a... You what? and your brains. <laughs> <laughs> so we're finally on the road again. It's gonna be a little bit until we get there. Wait, is that thing recording? Yeah. Here, play, play the little tune. He's a master mechanic, but he's also a master harmonica player. Sadly, we did forget our aux cord, so we stopped at the local guitar shop and picked up a harmonica. Yeah. For this man's to play it on the way down. Let's got these headphones so they can't listen to it. I'm gonna plug it into the harmonica, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so we finally made it to the dealer here. They pulling around the truck right now. And I'm gonna go check it out. Walt's driving it. What do you think of the truck so far? Oh, she's pretty. She's got a little uh, rust and a little crap on her integrity and stuff, but nothing that we can't patch up ourselves. The, the start, sadly, we missed when we first got in it. I was a little jumpy. I just wanted to hop in it and start it right up, so that's exactly what I did. Um, it feels absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm definitely happy I'm going with the third gen. The fourth gen's a little bit out of my price range, at least for now. And, um... Yeah, I'm, I mean, I think the second gen's is just a little bit too small for me. This is a, what, a 5.9 inline 6 24 valve. Yeah. And it's a 2004. 2004, yeah. At the next stop, turn left. Okay. Well, yeah, we're testing it out. We're going to take it down to a park and see if we can get uh, an actual view around the entire truck so you guys can kind of see the damage and see what we're working with. And then also we can rev it up and see what it sounds like from, I guess Here it, it wouldn't be a cold cold start at that point. Yeah, just keep it running whenever we get out of here so we can let people listen to it. So Long time, it's nice. Guys. Slight oil leak, no problem. So what we got here is the 2004 Cummins 5.9. Well, it's 2004 Ram, 2500 for you, those of you guys who get pissed off for me saying that. Turbo diesel, 24 valve. It's got about 186,000 miles, but you know, if you keep these, the maintenance up and running, then all those things will run forever. So it's not that bad. There's a little bit of rust on the rockers. They said they'd give us that. But, yeah, it's pretty good condition after that. I can actually already picture this because if you guys looked at the Cummins that I was driving in my previous video, it's, you saw it had stacks, BDS 8-inch lift kit, and, you know, a tune, and 38-inch tires. So that's probably the plan for this truck. Right. So if you guys ever drove a Cummins before, you know that you always need to have these extended no matter what. 
even if you're not towing or hauling anything, you need to make sure the mirrors are fully extended and you yeah, gotta have the stacks on the back, but that's coming in the future. So let me just open up this other one. There we go, now it's a real Cummins. Dodge is always going to have that solid axle because if you have to run the 38, 48 inch tires, you're definitely going to need those. So, come over here. You know, it has that, you know, typical rust in northern trucks, but there's nothing you can't repair or anything like that. And we're going to probably either, you know, 1A, like straight pipe the exhaust, or we'll just cut it here maybe run some stacks you don't know but that's fine for now for a diesel truck for ten thousand dollars you definitely can't beat the price on this vehicle so let me know what you guys think of this vehicle should will be buying this vehicle he might seal the deal today who knows okay i'm gonna show you guys a little bit under the hood actually i forgot to show you that so let's talk that real quick right down under here what's going on guys so, yeah, right here is what I was talking about. Looking right here, um, you see like that was tearing right off. Let's see what's going under down the bald eagle machine. There it is, just a typical 20 bore valve turbo diesel 5.9 Cummins engine. Now, one would argue that the 12 valve Cummins is better. But I'd say that's a 24 valve is better because you got more horsepower and a lot more torque than those dang old 12 valve Cummins. This is pretty good under the hood if you ask me. You see any first hand issues or anything? Whatever the fuck that is, that's loose. Oh shit. That's the exhaust, so it doesn't matter. It's straight off the header, so you know, the more flow you have for a diesel, the better it is. So it doesn't matter. That comes right there. Always buy Cummins, guys. Right there, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, is he trying to get smoke out? No, yeah, he just wants to get a sound booth. Gotcha. Driving here. Oh shit. Yeah, man. The wheel's a little funky, but. Driving to Cummins. You're watching Miller Cummins. Yeah, on why do you have to Miller Are you Cummins gonna change your channel. name? Act so fucking stereotypical. You have to have a persona. He's acting like a stereotypical dickhead Cummins driver. Yeah, that's how it's always gonna be. That's how we're gonna drive these things. <laughs> oh shit, the brakes are like stiff. They're very stiff. It's pretty nice. I like it though. Do you? We're with boots on, you got it's really hard to. Better, yeah, really better than down. having air in the brakes. Yeah. Agree with you on that one, Michael. All right, which way? Keep on going straight. You literally just go straight. So yeah, we're, we're going to a place to do some good pulls. We really want to get the sound for you. What's yeah. up, folks? We're going straight. You're that turbo. Wait, how are we? Dude, you took us into like a gated community. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wow, shit. you can turn around. Oh, I'm losing it. Uh, I'd go right then. Yeah, take the right. All right, we have no idea where we're going. We're trying to find a good place to really show you guys what this truck is made out of. <laughs> All right, now you're taking Just a little bit of Look down there. Yeah, take the left. Take the left. Stops on? Yeah, they got one. Oh, fuck. Woo, woo, woo! That's a big ass parking lot they got there. That's probably a good place to Hell go. Yeah, as yeah, long as it's building. not like a state state building or something. Is it? It looks like it might be. It's like a hospital, actually. You think so? Let's just, no, it's a school. Let's just That's a first. school? Ah, uh, okay. Isn't this where no, no, Kelly goes to? Uh, Kelly does not go here. Does she go to Wilkes? Um, Anna goes here. And, uh, Anna Walker. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Because uh, I came down here last time to go see the McLaren and the Ferrari, and she was like, why are you in my city? It's <laughs> like, you don't own the city. All right, I think that's a bad idea. Try to look, at, see if it's just neighborhoods up here, dude. Well, there was a park. Why do you guys go so hard? Gotta do it for falling. Fuck you, you bitch. two there so they gotta have it they gotta have diesel dude oh, yeah. so you're just used to driving your little two-wheel drives but <laughs> oh there's only one station what do we do Fuck. oh all right bitch let's hit you with the damn common solid axle straight in your freaking head look out for that sheriff hoodie on right now. I was born to drive these things. Yeah, he was. To be like completely out of gas and then we're gonna have to push it like a mile or two right back to the place or at least the gas station. They got diesel. They should. So, yeah, 290. See, the prices are so comparative. I guess. Three bucks. I mean, it's another 40 cents, but With if the it's better increasing gas the lifeline of your vehicle, then they have a straight up service center here. Dang freaking Cummins, man. Yo. It's cracking you out. What's going now? I'm coming on us. Yay. Thanks for the ride, dude. I didn't know you guys were out here. I noticed that like, you have to get on the gas a little bit more than like, my truck. It's a heavier vehicle. You mean yeah, get you on do. the diesel? You feel that brake, though? Yeah, it's stiff as shit. Yeah, it is. I do kind of like it, though. Derek, get us back. This thing is definitely gonna last a very long time. I think Will has my phone. Is it on the floor? Yeah, here. All right. All right, so there's your chick. She looked at you, dude. Yeah, see, we got it's all, all about kinds the of women. Dude. They see me driving by with the Cummins and my watch right here. One hand right here, my other hand right here. Hell yeah. And they think I'm hot as shit. They don't even look at me, they look at my car and they instantly fall in love. They just block out the face, they don't even care about that at that point. At this point, I would advise all of you, like, I'm not really big on like, <clears throat> physical features and, or features and everything and saying like people are beautiful and whatnot. Besides ladies, obviously they're beautiful. <laughs> but if you're an ugly dude, just buy a Cummins and they won't ever look at you, they'll just look at your truck. And so long as you have that truck, you're golden. Boy. Yeah, you're good. You're golden. Get out of here, you power struck out now, 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 now. Trying to fight. <laughs> All right, now up here at the light, you want to turn right. I do. No, it says no right. Oh, shit. No Fuck. right. You want to get right somewhere. So yeah, we're in the no. middle of a college town Yo, right check now. check it out. Yo, Yo, it's Illidolph Smoke Shop. Oh, shit. Yeah, they got like $1,000 pieces in there. We're gonna go buy some. Tobacco pipes. Yeah. Water pipes. Water pipes. This is freaking baller. You know, a, that was just a Hemi. It's a crazy price for what this is, dude. It's freaking Cummins. It's literally like the best engine you could ever buy. She didn't look. 
she doesn't like chucks. Oh no. <laughs> Listen to my turbo. Spool up. This is one way that way too. What the hell? Hey baby. How's it going? Yeah, let's just spend the rest of the evening here. <laughs> yeah, right? Dude, honestly, we could just go and demo cars for half an hour and then find Oh, you can turn right at this light. Can will that take us back there? Yeah. Nice. Sweet baby Jesus. Is that guy trying to go right too? I hope not. Is he the guy right there, yeah. Yo. Police escort. Really? For us. Oh shit. Hey. Go for it, little buddy. So right, I can so run you over, squash you like a bug. So what does it say now, Derek? I have a whole new mentality now that I'm in this truck. Yeah. See I'm you. an elitist now. Yeah. Narcissism <laughs> is my livelihood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better than you, 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 you fucking Camry. <laughs> Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell me when I'm going to five be miles, turn on the Bullmore Street. Which way, left or right? Right. And then you'll be like right Wait, there. how many miles? 0. 0.5 or 4.5? 0.5. I was going to say, I didn't think we drove that far. <laughs> yeah, it's a little far. They're better. They're, they're definitely like, well, they better fucking buy it now. Yeah. They got 30 minutes out of use out of it. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, we put some gas in it, so it's all good. Yeah, we're back at about what it was at. Yep. So we're branching on uh, 187,000 miles. All right, Mike, have with this, have with this, have with this. You just got me on the tip on wherever you get the food. The tip? Yeah. All right, you kike. This works for uh, me. Is that going to be in the video, me saying kike? It's going to be changed with butterfly. Ooh. Yeah. Woo nice. woo woo. See, all you, got, all you got to do is give it one nice push, and then you don't even just have to cruising, hit the gas yeah. ever again. Just... We're about to fall into the shop. <laughs> Man, the future of this so thing is like, great. Like I'm beating the shit out of my vehicle. <laughs> yeah, like, well, right. they're coming back. See you later, buddy. Eat my dust! Eat, eat, eat. Is it just straight down this? No, it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's it for the Cummins. Pretty nice truck. Now we're gonna go negotiate, and if we can get the right price, we're gonna be taking it home tonight. So, that's it for the Cummins. Yeah. If we can get it for the right price, like honestly, it sounds sounds good to me, and it rides good, better than the one that I was lifted, dude. Honestly, well, I was lifted. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot. Wait, hold on. Is it still open? I forgot my mount. Got some kind of looks like tow and brake down there, and then you got the manual shifter for the four wheel drive. Forgot about that. It's just honestly just the standard media unit, but that's fine. Like I said before, 186,000 on the clock. Everything's pretty standard in here, but I mean, it's only a 2004, so what do you expect? And it's cloth interior, which is more durable than the leather. If it was if it was leather in here, you know this thing would probably be beat the shit. The seats will look like a dog was in here for living in here for like five years. So that's where the interior of the vehicle. It doesn't look too bad, honestly. I really do like this truck. It's the little things in life. That matters. This isn't about. little. This cost me a lot of money. Oh shoot, Mike. Shoot, fly, shoot. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're first time watching my videos, please hit that subscribe and like button. Take care, guys. Have a good one.